I'm starting a mural uh, that's going to be for Backsplash. And I'm using uh, this mug called Peter King. It's going to be Portuguese style. So right now I've got all my piles of mud and I'm, um, I'm going to show you how to do a tile. I'm making the tile before I start doing the mural. I'm going to cut a portion like cheese really. So I'm using a cheese cutter and this is my I don't know what you call this thing, but this makes perfectly the right width that I want for my tiles. Shove it in there real good. So that's nice and flat. And up. Here we go. It's like making very thick lasagna saucer pick up my mud as gently as possible so I don't pull it too much and then place it on there and these are going to dry for a couple of days once they're there then I want to smooth out my surface so I'm using you know, one of these. And I'm putting some pressure, a little bit like as if I'm doing a plaster job. So when you make tile, you make it bigger than the outcome. So my tiles are right now there five inches, four and a half sixteenth because they will end up four inches and seven eighths. And the reason I'm so precise is because they're going to fit perfectly on the wall, corner to corner. And they'll look like five by fives, but they're actually not. They're slightly smaller. And that is the beauty of custom work, of course. So I made myself a template with a nice piece of board. There, that perfect consistency where I can push the mud ever so slightly because my, my knife cut is good but it's not um, it's got that little fringe so I'm going to push that out and round them up with my finger finger is a marvelous thing So, I'm flipping them every half an hour, so I start from left to right. This is in its big form. Bisque is when you just cook it the first time and it does not have any glaze or color on it. So, to be able to put color on it, I first have to prepare the back with wax. Such a simple idea. I just love that. It's a water-based wax and I'm painting it on the edge of the back of the tile. Just like that. So this is what it looks like. And then I'm piling them and making sure that the two wax sides are together and then I'll do the front and so on like that. Now when I eventually put the glaze on, what will happen, it, the glaze is sort of a watery, creamy kind of texture. 
and I'll pour it on top, you know, just like you know, pouring milk. And it'll drip on the sides, but it won't go underneath because of the wax. So you've seen them when I was waxing. I actually wet those, just dip them in water and let them drain vertically. And now I'm just putting the, this is how I apply it. So now I'm working on the mural. This was my first um, attempt of a quick sketch that I showed the clients. You can see I tried to figure out where the tile would be. Here's my drawing. And what I've done is it's a very, you know, it's, it's sort of a, it's a line drawing. Whoops. And I'm, I've done it on trace paper and it's it's an actual tool what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this image onto my glazed tile so I used um, a pencil first and right now what I'm doing is I'm um, copying it in the back with uh, a thick uh, soft charcoal pencil so I'm doing that, and then my next step will be to transfer, I'll, I'll rub this side onto the glazed tile. So here's the mural on the uh, tile. Um, I've been transferring it onto the tile, and I just wanted to share with you, like, placing things is kind of a you know, big deal. So for instance, I try to put the flower pot sort of centered. I try to put it in inside a tile, it just didn't work. So, like, the coffee pot, I managed to do that. Um, what else? It worked quite well, I'll show you. So that's what I'll be working with. And C stands for cobalt. 292 is a type of turquoise. B, black. Um, so I have three different colors going on right now, different combination to see how that turns out. So here's my glazed tile, it's dry, and I'm going to make corners first. So here we go. I made myself a little template uh, that I just cut out of out of my one of my business cards. <laughs> Why not? Business cards can be very useful. And this is my ink right here. Uh, very diluted. So that's what it looks like. This is how the blue looks like when it's. Um, in powder form and just with a little water. Okay. So I have a pretty dry brush. I don't go very wet. And I'm making this super watery. Like that. I'll dry it up. So there's one corner. And I, I put the tile on this little board so I don't have to touch it too much. So the key is, of course, I have a, um, like 120 to do like that, is to keep the same amount of um, color in the mix, consistency always. So that's my first step of this corner. It's going to look like this. And then uh, 
I do a second line and I can't do it right now but I'll show you what it looks like I'll do a second line and it looks like this okay and then that's going to be fired really high and it'll end up like that that's when it's fired and it's ready to uh, you know put on so just to give you an idea and then you know so on yeah so it's fun